Um, you know my name. My name is Napi. <laughs> Napi, Napi, you're from which country? I'm from Equatorial Guinea. Okay. Uh, most people think you're from Nigeria. Yeah, I get that every day. Mm -hmm. Like, I get it every day. E almost every second of the day. Okay. But I'm from Equatorial Guinea, yes. Okay. Uh, welcome to Uganda. You're here with your friend. Hello, blood your gun, but you're going to go to Uganda. Yeah, and this is the new and day. And uh, I'm going to talk about the new and day. And I'm going to talk about the new and day. And I'm going to talk about Europe. So, I'm going to talk about the new and day. Yeah, so... Okay. Okay. Ama nyandi Fred mutiaba yaba imbira katonda design and natural love kati atinu yera kapia tuli ya kasa bokulula okategede monalu banalu wero oh no abera europe nayo walike europe mwa meeting ga dio kusoka actually mbade nga ndaba work away content way umsajja ono umsajja wa amanyi nyu ali celebrating wa almost the whole entire global so when he came to Uganda, Nengamba, eh, Uganda wangata, limu na te Europe, jari na liyo, ka Nengamba, haka tukwa atagane, tu connect inge, ne tukuna point of contact, ka Nengamba, ande, ka very point of contact. Ne tu meet inga, eh, msajyo, no, ndi msajyo, nifunyo mula ba, omini mujo wako leri ya Europe, simi ya angu, toku vera anti sita, ama nyiki duwe nsiyo na, nga ata sinzi de Europe, msajyo, atu ino, okumua gali nyo no. When did you come to Uganda? Um, I think that was four days ago. Yes. How have you found the country? How is it? Um, so far, so good. I love the food. Hmm? Like, one of the things that is keeping me here is the food. What have you tested so far? Uh, matuki. Ma how do you... Matoke. How? Matoke. <laughs> matoke. Yes. Yeah, actually, Musa Jono, I guess I could eat culture here. I guess I could eat even tonga vita. Now matoke, katatandi soga kolachi. Ugalia, area in Spain, what is the best dish in Spain? Uh, we call it paella. Paella. Paella is like rice. It has mm -hmm. rice um, mm -hmm. with um, some kind of seafood. Mm -hmm. uh, but African food seems to be the best, trust me. Uh, Why are you in Uganda? I'm here because I have, I have um, a lot of fan base here. Okay, according to my analysis, I have fans here, a lot of fans here. So I just wanted to come and, and give them problems, my fans here. Yeah. Yes, I wanted to come and, you know, make my fans happy. And I'm just happy to be here. Okay. Yes, so my reason of being here is to give them problems, make them smile, you know, when they get to know my fans, when they get to know that Nappy is here in their country, so they will be happy. Okay. So I want to give more problems here. Okay. Yes. Uh, you, you've visited already some streets. You've yes, some streets. I have been to, yes, I've made a lot of, but I know... There is something I'm, I'm asking, I want to ask. The pothole you have here. <laughs> no, no. Who is doing that? <laughs> no, the pothole. Yeah. Who, who is hey, Somebody is digging that pothole. <laughs> you know what? I've just, I've just released the song. Eh? It's called Banaluero. Uh, that's where I was, the, the way I was the way when our president was coming into power. I was singing about the potholes. And uh, I'm so, you just look. I'm so glad that you're here in Uganda. I'm so glad that you're here in Uganda. Actually, I'm not aware of you, but I'm not aware of you. I think, I think, I think we should all be awake at night to see who is <laughs> digging this pothole. <laughs> <laughs> some, some other places are good. Wait. I, there, is, there are places good, mm -hmm. but you cannot speed from here to here. Go, no, bro. You see, there are, there are caved one, like where caved one. <laughs> you see them? Yeah. Like, meaning they are going to, be, to repair you them. See. Yeah, but it's everywhere. Yeah. There, there are, and you cannot. I, I'm, I'm wondering, what is going on here, man? <laughs> Actually, bro, let's, let's talk about your skits. Uh, there's this skit which you, you, you made from your phone, the border man with the lady, then you jumped on their, on their yes. bike. How was it? It was, it was marvelous. <laughs> Where were you? Um, you know, here I don't know names mm. for now. Mm. I don't know names of... Pl names of um, okay, um, I was just... Um, actually, what I do is... Um, I, I, I have car. Like, I have, um, I have a friend uh, who has got car here. Mm. So, and then um, we took, like, we're taking a ride. Mm -hmm. So, we took a ride. I see, man, this is a place, a good place to make a skit. Mm -hmm. This is a good place to prank. Mm -hmm. this, so, we just looking, you know, get, getting to know the city mm -hmm. so I can see places, good places to make um, a content. So, we got to a place. I saw, I saw um, 
I saw a girl that wants to, you know, that she's looking for, but she's waiting for border border. Yeah. And I, I told the person, my cameraman, please go and sit there, like, like you're making a call, you know, something like that. And then all of a sudden, the girl, uh, uh, she stopped. Brother, brother, I was coming. <laughs> I had to tell everything, you know. <laughs> what happened next? She was, <laughs> she was like. And the I don't know what the what the bike man was with the brother brother man was telling her, uh, like, I think he was like, do you know him? He said, no, I don't know him. I don't know him. I've never seen him before. They tried, <laughs> they tried, but I always make my way. <laughs> this is nappy. <laughs> yes, we are, yes, no peace. I think, I think the girl liked her afterwards. <laughs> yeah, and she must be there. Yeah, thinking, 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 put, okay, seeing so you in the pictures. Bro, what I want to know, do you get slaps? Do you get box? Like when you, you've done skits in Uganda here, disturbing people, have you been slapped? Have you been kicked? What has happened to you? In Uganda, no. Mm. People are peaceful here. Really? Yes, in Uganda, people they people here they are peaceful. Uh, they don't even react that much. Mm -hmm. They just they just like they like they wave you away. Like they don't. They are just peaceful, mm. and that is not good for my <laughs> for my kids. <laughs> <laughs> I need you to be aggressive. Yeah. I need you to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Kenya. Kenya is a place of. Uh, how do I say it? Um, it's a place of uh, people are people are mad. Mm. Mm. Like those people, we you know we Africans. Mm. Kenya represents Africa. Like we don't we don't take shit. Mm. So in Kenya, you want to prank me, even though you're crazy. They want to show you that they are crazy. Yeah. <laughs> so, like yes, yeah, in Uganda, yes, people so are peaceful. You they come. Uh, he just look at you like. <laughs> in Kenya, um, one guy tried to cut me with cut last, long one. Check my skits, check my skits. Yeah, even when my cameraman, like my crew, was telling them, no, 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 no there's a camera. He was still coming. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he was still coming. He was like, I, he was speaking the the language. He was, I'm gonna cut him. I'm, I, hey, yeah. <laughs> God. Uh, I went. Um, I went to his um what is he called? I went to uh, he's a mechanic, mm -hmm. so I went to his mechanic workshop, and then I tried to you know take something there. He said, "Leave this, leave this," and then he went inside. He said, "Okay, wait for me, I'm coming." He went inside and broke cut last and was chasing me, bro. I was I was literally scared, you know. Yeah, yeah. But this is Africa, man. Yeah. This is uh, this is what we get every day here in Africa. So how do you get money th uh, through this? What how you do? do? I get what money? How? How do I get money f through this? I have my page all over, like I'm an actor. I have all my page being monetized. So I get paid by social media. So um, view, comments, uh, likes, all these things, they, they pay me. Yes. Any advice to our TikToker or oh, people who are using TikTok? Um, my advice to people that are using TikTok, uh, my advice to TikTokers is that uh, how to get money. You know, <coughs> my advice to TikTokers, new TikTokers now, if you want to make money, don't just take camera and hit the street, my brother. It doesn't work like that. Okay, I studied what I'm doing. I studied it for four years. And in less than three months, uh, sorry, in, after three months, I became famous. Like I became worldwide. You know why? This is to show you that school studies is not a scam. So everything you do, put study first. Okay? And then when you study it, get to know what you want to do first before you do anything you want to do. Okay? Get to know it, know how to, uh, know how to do it, be constant in it. Don't just say, man, I post video every day today and then uh, you post next one is next week. No, I post me. I post videos every day, sometimes twice a day. Okay, so those things, those are the things that makes you, like, that gives you uh, hungry, okay, hunger to make more. So my advice for you is to please 
make sure you become consistent like constant sorry and go for what you want don't just hit the, take the camera and hit the street it doesn't work like that brother okay like here, like here people are using tiktok as, the, as their battlefield attacking each other abusing each other on tiktok in uh, Uganda. yeah but um pff, it doesn't really make sense like um how can you for me I, I i came here like in everywhere i've been to every african country i've been to so i like i see a lot of um african brothers sisters that uh they came to me they said Napi, i want to make a collaboration i want to work we are brothers so why we why why we are busy ourselves like why do we want to kill each other if you rise today i i rise as well okay if i rise you rise it should be like that so i don't see any reason why we should you know kill or ab abuse each other here it doesn't really make sense but to go viral they want to go viral if you want to go viral men make a good content and you definitely go viral <laughs> yes you can yeah you if you make a good content and be consistent and then you're gonna go viral okay so you don't just abuse people and then you want to go viral you're gonna go bad viral oh, bad yes viral. yes Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah. uh, this That's guy is a musician. Are you going to give him maybe a collab? I saw him in the studio. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, actually, I saw him. Yeah. I, we need a collab. No problem. <laughs> uh, yeah, we are going to make can I collab. sing? Yeah. Uh, I sing, I don't want peace. I want problems I, I always. Want problems. <laughs> yes. I want problems okay. always. Yes. So. Uh, I'm definitely going to be here for two weeks from now. From now. So I've got, I think I've got like two weeks to go. I don't know. Maybe I'm going to stay more. It depends on how the things go, so I'm gonna see if I'm if I'm to extend my stay. But um, so far, so good. I'm liking it. Okay. We have girls here. Have you met anyone? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, again, 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 Bro, I have just seen. <laughs> I have seen. What did you see? I <laughs> my eyes cannot see what. <laughs> You you've been to you've been to Kenya you've been to countries talk about Ugandan ladies, bro. Even as I'm talking to you now, my mouth cannot speak what my mouth has seen. <laughs> These people, they can kill you. <laughs> what? Ah, ah, I don't understand. Where did they get this thing from? <laughs> what? You want me to say it? Yeah. Eh? <laughs> I, you where did they get that nyash from? <laughs> Those Ugandan girls, where did they get the nyash from? Where did Ugandan girls get that nyash from? Even the one you see like this. <laughs> has one thing behind like this. <laughs> Bro, so I am just... You yourself one? No, so, so far, I am just... You know me, I am focused on... Like, you know me, I'm focused on money. For now, I am not focused on nyash. Okay, I want money. When I have money, nyash will come. <laughs> but I'm going, we are going to give you one nyash here and uh, you are going to be our brother in law. We're going to move from here. 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 I have seen you. <laughs> Brother, I have. And, and the, you know the funny part of it is that. <laughs> If you see this nyash now here, <laughs> you say, ah, this is good nyash. This is mm. the best nyash. Mm. You turn around, you see another one. You say, ah, this one is the best. <laughs> That's Uganda. <laughs> so confused. I like it. Yeah. I like it. I li yeah. This is the pure African. I like it. Yeah, Trust me. This is, this is to show that we are real African. Those yeah. things, we don't see it in Europe, bro. Okay. Yes, you see girls like this working <laughs> in Europe. <laughs> and here, and here, you see, and here you see, and here you see, you see African girls like this. <laughs> make make Uganda your second country. Um, if I if I get a wife here, definitely I'm gonna make her my second country, because there is something I like so much in this world, and that that thing is food. You wind up. Um, what challenges do you find when you're doing your skits on streets? Uh, the challenges I get from uh, from people uh, when I do my skits on the street is um, sometimes the way they look at me. Okay, they look at me like yes, but you know, you know, at the time I got used to it. So for me now, right now, it's not a challenge. It's just a common thing. It's just a normal thing. 
So um, I think for now, the only challenges I'm facing right now could only be that, um, you know, those things, there are things I cannot do. And after making a good prank, and those people will tell me, please don't post it. Yes, that's the biggest challenge I've got. You like, post or you post? no, I don't post. If you tell me, if I tell you I'm sorry for the prank, I pay for your food. If it's a food prank, I pay for your food, and I apologize to. You. If I need to go to my knees to apologize to you, and um, I will do it. And if you insist, if you insist, insisted that I shouldn't post it, I'm not gonna post it. I'm very respectful. Like, if you tell me, man, Nappy, I don't want you to post this video i'll definitely not post it that's me for you you act like a beggar on the streets but in real life you have money bro rich man bro I'm surprised <laughs> where are your clothes <laughs> let me let me tell you something <laughs> let me tell you something yeah. don't judge a book by its cover bro yeah, exactly. mm. that's one thing uh that's one of my messages like one of my the messages i spread on my skit don't never you judge a, cover, a book by its cover. Yes, because <clears throat> you never know who who can feed you tomorrow. Okay, life is is sometimes you see this life. Sometimes it's it goes like this. Like you never know what it will bring. Okay, so today it's my turn. Tomorrow could.